They're on the night shift. We're on the night shift. Let's see if we can find a fella here. May I disturb you, sir? Yes, certainly, yes. What's your name? Etherington. Hugh Etherington. Mr Etherington. Yeah. <laughs> Would you show us round you? Twiggy. Twiggy. <laughs> Twiggy. Legal, not, yeah. Why do they call you that? Well, Some years ago, one of the old fellas that's retired now, he said to me, you know, he said, you've pinched all Twiggy's weight, he said, so <laughs> we'd have to call you Twig, so... Very good. Would you show us round your ambulance, search what yeah. kind of equipment you've got on board? Well, as you can see, I'm just re restacking uh, a job we've just had, which is rather serious. We had to use some of the advanced stuff, and uh, I'm just repacking it away now and replenishing what I've used. Uh, is this a standard equipment this is for, standard for all ambulances? For all the, uh, so uh, anywhere in the country you could go and you'd expect to find this kit here? Those that have got paramedics, yes. Right. Yeah, the ambulance with the paramedics have the standard equipment, laid down protocols from local for the local area, right. but there's a national protocol for it, and, and basically everything's on the standard. Right. What know. else have you got here in the Well, corner? OK, the oxygen, uh, large cylinders, small cylinders, and um, mobile resuscitating uh, oxygen cylinder. This is a aspirator. You know, right. sucks out the uh, mucus and muck and everything from the mouth and, yeah. and everything. Um, <clears throat> here we have the cardiac monitor. Can't turn it around anymore so you can see it, but oh, right. it's, the, um, it's the standard. DMS, uh, which we use for uh, monitoring patients with having heart attacks. Also, we defibrillate the patients with this if they're in what we call VF, etc. And uh, we can take 12 lead ECGs with this. Or oh, we've got a signal coming up here. Yeah. Then. Well, just can we, can just we actually see that? Just turned it on, and I can I can actually show you a test signal we do for it if right. you like. If yes, you, I mean, if, you, if you're interested, you know what I mean. Uh, that's the, when we come on duty, we always. Um, we always test the test the machine by placing these paddles on this special. You don't box. test it by putting a shock through your own arm, then. No, no. <laughs> you see, these are a bit awkward to work in confined spaces because yeah. they're cold. But here we get now, which is so what that's a, giving a heartbeat. Is that's, it? It's that's a, a, that's a, a test. A, a, a test sinus, heartbeat. That's right. It it's fictional well. heartbeat. It tests what we call sinus rhythm, and it's and we have to check it, and we can alter the size of it. Um, to, to get a deflection on the recording paper of, of two mils. And you'd give that to someone who you couldn't find a heartbeat in. I mean, you can't yeah, find a pulse. Yeah, if you haven't got a heartbeat, you get a straight, you get a straight line. Right. Right. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't what we call defibrillate that. What you would probably defibrillate is, is, you know, a, a very, you know, rough. Right. Show rhythm. us what else you've got over this side uh, of the. But, uh, um, well, it's just the normal racks of. There's a special uh, splint for fractured femurs up there, which is the what we call the Sega splint, which is is applied to the um, to the leg, mm -hmm. and used to put put traction on the on the femur to pull, you know, to stop the bones mm -hmm. breaking together. Also, another one we carry is a Donway splint, which we keep up there. I mean, you must get to see. I mean, obviously things that we would rather not see. I mean, in our lives. I mean, uh, pretty unpleasant <coughs> sights. Does it? Do you get hardened to that eventually, or are there are things that will always yeah, upset you? Um, I would say we get hardened to it. I mean, I've been doing the job for 26 years, and it's a way of life, really. Now, um, I've used to shift system after all, obviously, you know. But um, there's still things that do upset me: young children, sudden mm. baby deaths, you know, cot syndrome deaths. Mm. Uh, you, 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 you don't dwell on it, but you, 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 you feel it in the back of your mind, and right. you think, you know, why? Is it something but, that will kind of catch up with you like a couple of days later and you'll think, you know, I mean, obviously at the time you've got a job to do, you've got the pressure of that behind you, so you don't think about what you're seeing in a sense, but two days later <clears> you'll say, goodness no, me. So, no, no, I, I don't think, there may be with some people it may, but I can honestly say it hasn't with myself, but, um, you know, we discuss it on the station sometimes, you go back and you say, oh, I just had a nasty one, you know, so-and-so, and we done so-and-so, and we discuss it amongst ourselves, you know. Then you're off, you know, as I say, you might have a very nasty one and with a death, and then you, you, you know, deliver a baby, you know. Chris, I see you haven't got your stretcher back yet still, so the hospital kept on <laughs> hung that's, on to that. That's right, yeah, it's <laughs> patients on that, so it gives us a breather while so they're... So poor old boy can't, can't really be moved off your stretcher yet? Not until the hospital staff say that he's stable enough to be done. All right, know? absolutely. Well, you must get back on the night shift. Right. So Thanks must so we. Much. See you next time. Well, Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.